Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reads for the 18th to the 22nd of November. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Oh, also exciting news this week. Yay, Mercury's going direct. Excellent news on the 20th, Mercury will go direct. And we have a bit of a shadow period after that. So things won't be quite back to exactly how they should be, but they will be a giant step in the right direction. So if you've been impacted by that, things will get better soon, which is really good news. Let's get your love messages for this week though. So Capricorn, please. Capricorn messages and love. Oop. Oh, two out. Okay. Okay. Uh, you could be dealing with an air sign or a queen of swords who's kind of not being very cooperative, this queen of swords. All right. What else have we got here? Hmm. Yeah, it could be an air sign or just someone that has an air, a lot of air in their chart. Three of Cups. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Okay, interesting spread. I want to get some more. Okay, apparently more is coming out anyway. All right, so I want to get some more clarifiers going on here before we comment on this. I'm not taking that. All right, so uh, let's see. What is the Ace of Wands in reverse, please? Ace of Wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the Three of Swords in reverse. of swords in reverse please yep I got it I got it I got it right okay interesting uh, and I'll also take for the three of cups please what's the three of cups hmm Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Now I know what's happening. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Yes. Yeah, so someone's being like non-cooperative over here, this queen of swords, um, just being intentionally difficult, but I kind of feel like I know why this could be you, you guys, PS. Um, also cause you've got Cap uh, the devil card here. You've got Capricorn here. Um, but I feel like this person is bored with a relationship or bored with whatever's going on. They could be going out and drinking and partying a lot. That's what's happening here. You've got the three of cups clarified by uh, the devil card. So a lot of vices, addiction, um, that sort of stuff happening here. Just overindulgence in all walks of life. This can be a male as well, PS. So it doesn't have to be a female. Um, but this... Queen of Swords person, whoever that represents, is kind of just going out, drinking, partying, being just generally difficult, not being how they should if they're in a relationship, basically. Um, and it's all because of they're bored of being in a relationship. You've got this Ace of Ace of uh, Wands in reverse, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. They just want to be single. They don't want to be in a relationship. They're avoiding telling you though, or you're avoiding telling them. So for, this is for those that it resonates with. Please don't run out and accuse your girlfriends or boyfriends of being bored or cheating or whatever. But use the facts that are in front of you. Someone crucified me yesterday about I was ruining people's lives. Um, but just obviously apply this how it works for you. They don't want to hurt you or you don't want to hurt them. Whoever's going I don't think there's any cheating going on like there's no evidence of cheating it's just 
enjoying life a little bit too much really is the best way to describe it for me they don't want to have a heartbreak they don't want to hurt you um they with this nine of cups they kind of just want everything to somehow magically fix <laughs> they don't know how to go about this there's definitely an element of um regret here because they view you as the queen of pentacles okay so they know that you're they know your worth and they know that what they're doing is wrong um there could be some sort of change occurring in their life that they're trying to avoid here with this uh wheel of fortune in reverse but we can get some more information on that what's the wheel of fortune in reverse maybe they've had some news recently yeah okay don't know more on the two It could be that they're actually experiencing financial difficulty and they are self-medicating or avoiding telling you, going out, spending time with friends to avoid spending time with you because then they would have to talk about the financial difficulty that they're in. But they may be getting into financial difficulty because of this. And they know that they need to make a change because they're actually bleeding themselves dry here. Um, but they know that they are avoiding this changing of behavior or change of their ways. So they know what they're doing is wrong. But then it's like they're not willing to give up the single life is what I'm kind of sensing here. So yeah, what, are, what uh, thoughts and feelings please for Capricorn? Thoughts and feelings for Capricorn, please. Mm, you're like, do we just do I just move on and forget about this? You're definitely thinking about a new start with or without this person. Yeah, you're like, I don't know that there's any love here anymore. I don't think that we're gonna be together. Probably why you're here. Um, I maybe I just need to move on and move on with my life. Two of Cups in reverse, full card. What are their thoughts and feelings? Their thoughts and feelings. Oh, I'm going to take two. Yeah, they just want to be... They don't want to be alone. But they don't want the burden of a relationship here. So you can't have it both ways. They want their cake and they want to eat it too. They can't have it both ways. I don't know. I don't think they know what they want, Capricorn, to be quite honest. I think they just want the best of both worlds. They don't want to give you up over here. Um, but they want to be single. And they want to keep partying. But they know what they're doing is wrong. And they're wasting all their money. So it's just, they're trying to have and do everything. You can't have and do everything. Most likely outcome for Capricorn, please, this week. Most likely outcome for Capricorn this week, please. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to be over this week, at least. You've got the world card in reverse, so it's not quite done yet. Oh, there's going to be some conversations had. Ace of Swords, Shivers. Wouldn't want to be in your household this week, Capricorn. I feel like you are going to be sharp about it. Big time. Okay. And this, whatever is said, is going to kick off the healing one way or another. Okay. I think they're going to promise to change. So what you probably can't see it from there, but what you've got here is the uh, world, the world in reverse, which is telling me look, this isn't this cycle isn't ready to complete yet. Yeah, sort of truth <laughs> over here, um, which is uh, absolutely truthful communication, a new opportunity of uh, honesty, new levels of honesty. 
Um, but you've got this healing, this slow healing card, which is going to take time. Um, and I think the reason, I, I just feel like these two together with the healing and rushing in to kind of sweep you off your feet, I feel like there's going to be a lot of promises made here. Um, do I know whether they're going to come true? Not sure. But there's, I feel like there's going to be some real effort because they actually might think that they've lost you. But there's, there is, they're coming right back in here. They're like running this way back towards you. <laughs> back in time they don't want to run away into the future they're running back in time to go oh my god have i really mucked this up let's see what spirit says what advice is there please for capricorn oh okay so there's love here capricorn definitely like i said i'm definitely feeling like this communication is what actually is going to lead to the healing. Like this honest line in the sand that's going to be drawn with expectations set, um, new rules set out. I'm. This is what I'm going to tolerate. This is what I'm not going to tolerate going forward. Uh, yeah, look, there's going to be no confusion about this. It's seven of seven of cups in reverse. Like it's going to be very clear what is expected in this love connection from now on. And I think you're going to be setting your expectations out, Capricorn, big time, big time. Okay, seven, oh, did, I, did he come out somewhere else? No. No, okay. Uh, okay, but you've got the three of swords on the bottom of the deck in reverse. So, what do I think is happening here? It's, it's kind of like, there's love here. You need to stop there being any confusion about what the expectation is, like I said. Or you guys will not be able to grow and realize your four of wands potential because it's in the reverse. So you're kind of being given, given a, this is what you need to do. Or if you don't, this is what will happen. Advice at the moment. They've been, a lot of them have been like that lately, weirdly. Um, so I think setting expectations is what you will be doing this weekend. And you're going to be, I feel like you're going to be cutting about it, like really very direct. So, okay, that's cool. These are my standards. This is what I expect. You can either raise yourself to my standards or cut yourself off. Fine. That's how it should be. Romance angels, please. Romance angels advice, please, for Capricorn. Nice. soulmate this is your soulmate and i think that that's actually true with this four of wands here as well even though it's in reverse i think that at the moment if things keep traveling the way they are that you will be in reverse but you've got two very important soulmate cards or twin flame cards on the table i don't think that's by mistake um, these are your thoughts and feelings remember so you're feeling like this is over I need a new start, blah, blah, blah. But that's as it stands now. I think after this, it's all going to be a little bit different. Capricorn, big week for you guys this week. Make sure you uh, tune into the weekend reads. Hit the notification button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Make sure you leave us a comment down in the comment section below. And I will see you right back here for the weekend reads. Bye.